Marty McFly's hoverboard might prove handy for nipping through crowds and evading bullies, but for longer commutes it might prove tiring. Now an inventor has created a working hoverbike that lets him speed along in mid-air with the help of two impressive fans. British inventor Colin Furze created the futuristic vehicle, which he described as the most outrageous thing I've ever ridden. The final video of the four-part series shows Furs hovering through a field on the incredible construction, while subsequent videos on his YouTube channel show how he made the machine. The inventor came up with the idea based on the suggestions of thousands of viewers who asked for him to create some sort of flying machine. The challenge is a result of a partnership with Four to think again about mobility as part of its Unlearn campaign in the UK. First designed the bike with two floor-facing fans connected to two motors and a frame, with guards over the fans to stop him being sucked up and chopped up. First chose to use two parajet motors, like giant fans, to lift the bike off the floor and allow it to hover. Each of them kick out 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, of thrust. In theory, this means two would be needed to lift Furs, who weighs around 176 pounds, 80 kilograms, as well as the bike's frame. He made a basic frame on which to attach increasing weights to test how powerful the motors were in real life. This was bolted on top of one downward-facing fan in his workshop and was able to lift more than 117 pounds to Furs's surprise. However, the inventor noted, the propellers are pushing against the ground and are quite close to the floor, but the higher they go, the less this ground effect is going to be because they're going to be pushing against air rather than a solid surface. So lifting things is going to become more difficult the higher it gets off the ground. That means the chassis has to be as minimal and as light as possible. First designed and constructed a lightweight metal S-shaped frame that would stop the vehicle spinning in circles. He then added minimal details including a foot bar, handlebars and necessary electronics with which to control the vehicle. First said before testing it, I have made a machine on your request, I've built something with no wheels, no steering, no brakes, it's got two accelerators and it doesn't even have a seat. The final video in this series shows First standing on this machine and powering it up, with his hair in the grass blowing in the wind created by the fans. He said of this seriously noisy machine, carrying him in mid-air, it's the outrageous thing I've ever ridden. Furs had to learn to ride the unwieldy machine, which wasn't able to have stable lizards because of weight limits. He was thrown off the hoverbike several times, broke the fan's blades and even cut up the grass. But when he mastered it, he was able to ride the machine a little like a bike, and even added fireworks and neon lights.